Alrighty, you guys, hey, welcome back to another video. Um, happy Thanksgiving. I uh, just put all of our bags in the master. We're really just rushing because it's 12 o'clock and we're trying to get out of here by 2. And I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I gotta really move in on the truck and just get them parked back because right now we're really just trying to rush get everything done. I plugged in all the cars to the triple charger. And the last bit of stuff might be these vehicles. We're trying to get all the vehicles in the garage. Just, I don't know if we're gonna do it. I'm also trying to figure out what truck we're gonna take. I think we're gonna take the F-250 just because we haven't taken it yet. So, uh, I want to take the Gladiator, but we're gonna take the boat. And I don't really know if I want to do that. It's gonna be a long episode, just us um, doing stuff. Let's do this one. Yeah, it's really just, I got a prep, hurry up, I should have done this last time, but it was fun seeing the hyper cars, so yeah, hopefully we will see them all again, but... the truck right up here as you guys can see the lights are on because we're really just rushing in here trying to get stuff out of here like I cleaned up the garage yesterday I like cleaning it before we go I'm gonna have to hitch up oh shit I took the wrong truck alright we're gonna do a lot of running around here let's move the challenger I left it outside yesterday Is we just been really busy. I'm gonna have to plug this into a triple charge here. I really want to plug these cars into a triple charge just because we're gonna be out. We're not gonna be out for a while, but I just like triple parking room. Now let's realign this. See if we can try to. Um, what we could do is we are taking the boat that size, so I should probably. I don't think we're gonna take that. It's just too obnoxious. Let's quickly drive the mega cab back, because I'm not gonna take the mega cab. Actually, now I'm kind of thinking about it. The mega cab might actually be a good truck to actually take. I have to think about it really because this thing is such a big thing. Um, like, see, like, everything's going to be that fun. Um, a lot of space, so we might actually end up driving this. Nah. Well, I feel like if we do, we would have to take the. I want to take the F 250 either way. Because I'll take the F 350, but I don't really think that's a fun count. I'm actually thinking about selling this truck, to be fairly honest with you guys. I think the last thing we went to the car out, truck out. Alrighty. Luckily, all we're gonna haul is just um, normal hitches, so we don't have to use flatbed. If we had to do flatbed, we could have took the truck, but uh, this should be fun. This should be good. Let's just be very careful. It's gonna be a very busy day. We're just gonna really get out of here because basically I'm the one kind of all this. And yes, I'm gonna drive the truck. Unless we're driving two trips, then I would haul something else. Well, actually, if I was to haul something else, she would actually most likely end up. So we're gonna open this up, pull it there, 
hope the razor fits. I actually haven't tested this yet. Because I wanted to take the razor out. I figured it would be a cool money vehicle, but I'm not even sure if it fits. Because this trailer though has plenty of space for it. Doesn't look like it's gonna fit in here. Alrighty, so that just makes our situation a bit worse because now we are not taking the terrible razor. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do if I don't take it is is we're going to take the raptor. Assuming that this fits, either that or we're gonna have to If we don't take this, if that doesn't fit, we're gonna end up renting something up there and we'll pick it up on the way. At the same time, I don't really know if it needs to be off road because I was actually getting gonna let it get an RS like it to be up. Alright. Yeah, we don't need something in there. I would say let's haul it. Solo run, take the boat, and I'll just sleep in there. Normally, because I split the space, because it's big, you know, it has a whole kitchen it and all that, so yeah. I oh, never mind, alright. Let's try, this is gonna be a tough one. Backing this all in. Because last time I did this, I did not, when I backed in the boat, I didn't have a trailer, which took me. So that's kind of going to make our situation a bit harder. Funny enough though, in a way this boat ramp really does help. Because I can kind of drive the truck into it, realign back in. So, it is really good. I'm going to go get hitched up and I'll resume this when I do that. See you all later. Alrighty you guys, so I have everything hooked up and ready to go. Everyone strapped down the boat, all of their luggage in, in the camper. We're gonna shut down the turn off the lights, lock her up, and the wife already locked up the house for me. So all I gotta do is go and lock my garage up. So chances are nothing can happen because of the gate. Safety reasons, I just want to do that, and then I don't want to leave the lights on while we're gone. Because we and also for those of you like wondering why we're going camping for Thanksgiving, it's mostly because of COVID. I was like, I just want to take the kids out and have a nice day up there. And for us, it me, I think it works out more than just having a dinner. That was just all us. And it is a bit of a hard load to tow, but nothing the F-250 can't handle. <laughs> Funny enough, this truck is like, I love it because like, I, if I really needed to, we could put our bikes and stuff in the back of this. Alright, yeah. First we gotta... Well, we don't gotta do that. Let us... Lock up. Yeah, I gotta lock that up right there. Alright, there we go. And it's locked up. So, those of you trying to break in, watch. By the time you see this video, we'll watch it probably be heading home. So, yeah. Oh, perfect. We made it up before, too. Hopefully, there won't be traffic. It is Wednesday though, so there might be traffic. And just let you know, you guys, um, all of our homeowner videos, they're one day prior. So just note that. It's gonna be a really big vlog this, so yeah. It's gonna be a humongous vlog for all of you to watch for Thanksgiving. Taking out the boat, the camper, 
kids, the wife, and the dogs. And we should have a pretty fun day up at the waters, I would say. I mean, I haven't came up there in a while. We're going up to Grizzly um, Creek Camp Ground, so... When we're camping, that's going to be quite hard for us, because the load we're carrying, so maybe I was going to originally take us up a mountain um, trail I normally go up, but with, I would say with these, all this stuff, I don't think I'm going to want to chance that, just because I don't really know if we want to do that. Before we do um, get up on the freeway, we're going to fill up with gas on the truck. It's going to be two hour drive, so it's normally not that long of a drive, you know, depending on traffic, I don't know how the highway's going to be, it's a cool, but I think they said the highways could be busy because people are driving to people's houses instead of lines, so who knows, so. I don't know how we're going to pull into that gas station. Now that, I do not know. I actually have to go pick up um, kids' workbooks or something. Let's just try to get into here. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it out right there. The cap. Get ourselves some normal ultimate. Put it in. Alrighty. Put my car, don't look at that. We'll put you right there. Alright, there we go. Let's go! I had to go up to our pants. Yep, you already. Yeah, she. I'm pretty good to run into the trailer because they said they got it. Alright, that's just hard. The mom's with them, so now it's just us and the truck. Look, my parents are on the way, so. Um, where they're living, it's not that much of an inconvenience. I think what I might actually end up doing is pulling onto the side because, I mean, for me, it's like, uh, because, like, that road, I don't know if I want to be taking this setup. So, so I see, I'm just gonna pull off to the side and probably walk there because I don't, I don't want to really have to deal with that. We could probably just pull off. I don't know, maybe we'll find. We'll be fine. We'll just see. Yeah, if anything, we should go on the next road. That's not normally as busy with road cars. It's kind of why I didn't like moving out of here. They're not words. I think the only fuck thing is going to be getting out of here. I'm probably just going to reverse. I mean, practically, you can't be there. Alrighty, in the truck there. I mean, practically, either way, you normally can't go through the lane, so yeah. Oh, we could try loading this on. Oh, nah. nah, I don't need to take the K5. I don't know about that thing. Alrighty, let's grab my keys. Oh, where's the house keys? Alright, there we go. There we are. Nope. Well, then again, the stuff's actually in the garage. Shoot, I don't want to plug it hard. Grab it. I'm gonna put that down. Let me just hold on. Okay, I grabbed it. There you go. Yep, I grabbed it. Yeah, you do. Have to thank you. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so. Grab this stuff. I'm actually gonna throw it in the back of the truck, I think. Yeah, so. Uh, Luckily, this truck has some awesome features, it's just... Oh, it doesn't fit. 
So yeah, it should work out pretty well. Let's just hope we can get down here how it might be too late because yeah. We're almost here. I love camping out here though. I camped out here a couple of times. Or you never used to have to pay though, but Oh, that's fine. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Hoping to pick up a boat. There's actually technically no boat for <coughs> Which is why all the times I came out here to the home to pick a boat. But we're going to have to kind of do it. As you can see, this isn't actually the ideal to go So what we're actually going to do is open up the trailer and we'll just park right there. The kids are on the side. And look at this. Okay here. On the way, you want to look at the shop. 
kids that we were very bummed out that we sadly couldn't take our golden razor, so we ended up going out and renting one out at Royalty Exotics up in Vegas. So big shout out to those guys who provided us these really quickly because we knew we were going to need them. So yeah, I'm just going to park them right there. Plus we got the Florida. Let us take the razor. I would say I want to keep this razor, so let's take this out. Oh yeah. Not quite sure how deep that is, but it shouldn't be too deep. Um, We should try doing is we should try taking the F two fifty out here. You think that thing could do good? Oh yeah, we do not want it. <clears throat> I guess in a way, if we really wanted to hold around there, we probably could. that there's somewhere we could bolt around at. Okay, yeah, let's take the tremor. First off, we got a... wasn't bad until that happened. Alright, luckily I got a line, so I'm just thinking we could try pulling her out of here. Though the truck is submerged, if you can't tell. I'm not quite sure if it'll work, but we can... Yeah, I'm not looking so good. I would say we're leaving the truck here overnight. Ah, oh jeez. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. I think it's best if you try getting down the ground and check. Well, we just lost two of our vehicles. I'm not a hundred percent sure what we're gonna actually do. Yeah, you guys do. We just lost them. How about this? I'm just starting this thing off. And I know both aren't made for not anywhere like this off roading, but it, it has some power. <coughs> we are making it down. Are you kidding me? We lost the boat? Yeah, well, let's try and fix all of this. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so luckily this the park ranger, he was able to save us on the truck. 
This one is kind of cool as we should it. We're legit submerged in water. Good news is we have a winch. Uh, let's just, um, yeah, we're gonna fix that, get a ranger to come back. And we're gonna instead go out to the other land, so. See you all there. Alrighty, guys, so sorry we didn't record much of this trip. We were just really busy trying to the food. We did make it back a few days later. Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm in the F250 trying to drive all of our stuff back. Sadly, I did not record much of the paradise. Yeah, I couldn't record much. I didn't really care to. We are going to be meeting up with the uh, Bugatti Chiron not too far from soon. Um, yeah, I believe he's bringing it in next week, and he was the guy who offered us some money. I'm going to do a garage update to kind of explain to you what's coming, as we might also be trading some cars and selling some cars. I don't quite know what we're doing yet, but whatever we do will be good. The Mercy does have a chance of leaving as it's a 101 manual gated SV. Or 105. It's in that beautiful yellow color, so technically it is a 101. I believe that there's only one made, and that's ours. But I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna sell it. I don't know if we're ready. I mean, it's a brilliant really car, but someone offered us a million dollars, and a million dollars do a lot and I feel like if we were to I could always buy another heated manual LP640 and put the SV kit on it and be the exact same but save money so there is a chance I'm just gonna do that also wouldn't be bad hmm. Uh, 
Alrighty, we are almost back at the place. I tell you, it was a great trip out there. A nice vacation for Thanksgiving. We did end up having our turkey and stuff in the mix. We had a truck and trailer, it's a bit dirty. Okay, I washed it down at the um, uh, gas station before I came into this town. It was a great vacation, you know, but glad to be back. Glad to do some more automotive content. Uh, in the next video, we might, we're probably going to be doing a garage update, selling some cars, keeping some cars, and, well, test driving a Bugatti and an Urus, or specking an Urus, so, get ready, you guys. As what we have planned is pretty exciting, because I do want to get an Urus. I'm thinking we're going to go and spec one out. Maybe we'll even do that in this video. Nah, I'll do the next video. Alrighty. Well, we are just playing. We should probably drive my truck next time. But these uh, we haven't driven it. Alright. Probably not gonna go on already. We'll, we'll probably just wash down all of these stuff. And just do that. I'll um, probably end up getting food, so in this video we can go grab the food. Oh, that is great to be back. Someone did um, actually come by, one of our neighbors came by here to help me out, and he started the cars up for me, even though we were only gone for two days. See, so this is actually why I love living here with the private. Um, boat ramp because um, my truck can practically handle going in there. So all I do is I normally back her up. I think I'm probably gonna actually end up with this detaching this detached the bolt. I'm gonna come attach that right after. Yeah. It would be tough because I'm not really that good at trailers. That's why I have to buy the Ford, you know. All that trailer assistance, crazy. I got a car already. Alright, let's back the car. Truck back for I might actually end up selling this truck. I don't know if I want it. As it's like the ultimate beach truck, I might end up doing that or selling our 350. Or we could just sell this for the 350, I don't know yet. Yeah. I have no clue what I want to do. That's pretty good. That's pretty good parking for now. Then let's go hook up to the north point. Yeah, I can't you guys can go inside. We're gonna go walk up to the house. Well, I'm gonna take care of all these cars in here. And we'll probably end up taking out one of these today, hopefully. Yep. So let's get ready. Yeah, see, it's so much easier when you've just got one thing to back in there. I'm going to probably end up unpacking this thing on a different day just because 
We just got back, and I mean, basically all the luggage is in for Rick, so yeah. All the stuff's in there. Oh, let's pull this truck out of here. Not bad, not bad. We are actually thinking about selling a Raptor. I actually kind of think we're going to sell the main cap too, so... What we might actually end up doing is driving. Well, I don't know about the Raptor yet. I'm going to probably drop that off today at the dealer. I just want to make sure the cars all look good. We can start to move off all up. Let's actually start the listing up. Yeah, you guys, I'm telling you, you all need uh, one of these in your ways. Alrighty, let's... Actually... We're gonna... I'm probably gonna drive, drive this back to the house. Grab our... 350. Grab that trailer, and we'll trailer the new cap down here. Bunch of fun, a bunch of fun. I actually have to go grab the keys in the office room because I don't currently have the keys for it. And before, like always, I do always fold in our mirrors. We just don't want to be, um, what's it called with the mirrors? I don't want it to scrape. It looks like it wouldn't fit if I left anything. Yeah, this is a big truck. Looks like they all got home already. Alright, there's keys. Let's jump on in. Not the dirt max, I tell you. Not the dirt max, they glided it in, looks sick. I don't think we've started this thing up yet. And just a little bit of a backstory, you guys. What I meant, I didn't start it up, I meant on camera. I drive this thing every day, that's why I want to keep it. This is like my truck that I drive every day versus... I mean, because for me, I like this. You know? It's a nice truck. It's a diesel too. We are probably going to end up doing a lot of garage updates and stuff drastically. I'm going to actually resume this video tomorrow so just wait for that and for watching make sure to like subscribe to get post notification hope you enjoyed this um thanksgiving upload make sure how i wish you all an awesome thanksgiving with you and your family and take care you know thanksgiving is a time to spend time with loved ones so make sure you're thankful that and yeah thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye